and welcome to the Hawaii Smooth Jazz Connection. I am your host, Gwendolyn Harris. Today, I am veering off track of smooth jazz and will be interviewing one of Hawaii's awesome talents as relates to Hawaiian music. If anyone could be described as having Hawaiian heart and soul, it is indeed my guest today, Kamakehau Fernandez. Welcome to the show. Aloha. Mahalo. And what I want to say is I didn't finish what all I had to say because I'm having issues right now today. But you have won many awards and you travel around the world. So I want yes. people to know that. That he's won many awards, uh, a Nahuku Hano Hano Award. Very good. Yes. I'm learning Hawaiian. Nahuku Hano <laughs> Hano Award, which is like our, our Grammys. So I do want people to know that. But again, thank you for coming to the show. Oh, I am so excited. Like I said, thank I'm veering off from my smooth jazz. But let's get right on into this, Absolutely. our talking story. All right. So you were born in Little Rock, Arkansas. That is right. Your, your, your mom, mm -hmm. she adopted you and brought you back to yes. Maui. Yes, she did. She was, uh, you know, it was, it was around that time, you know, she wasn't able to have children naturally, so it became her heart's desire, which is what my middle name means, Kamaka. Oh, mm -hmm. means the heart's desire. And, uh, you know, she just wanted to g give a home to a child and, mm -hmm. and to be able to just love and embrace. And she had no idea who she was getting. This wasn't her. So I, I want that one. No, it was, right. I would say, divine. Right. You know, divine happening. And, and I couldn't have asked for a better mom. <laughs> so now how was it growing up as an African-American here in Hawaii? Well, you know, growing up, growing up here in Hawaii for me personally uh, has has been, you know, it, when we're kids, we don't know better, mm -hmm. you know, and and so during the my elementary days, it was, you know, I did go through some moments where kids were teasing me because I looked different. Of mm -hmm. course, you know, I mean, they, they don't know what to what to expect, um, and however. Anything that I did um, in life, uh, I was always embraced with mm -hmm. open arms, and that's what Hawaii is. Hawaii is, you know, this this word aloha that we use. Mm -hmm. Aloha is more than just hello, goodbye, <laughs> and I love you. It means to be patient. It means to be kind, unpretentious, uh, and unity. It's a way of being. And so this is what I was raised with here mm -hmm. in Hawaii. Awesome. Now, you were a graduate of the Hawaii language program and fluent in Hawaiian language. You have a certain motto. What's that motto? My motto. My motto is, your, your uh, motto. <laughs> I think it, <laughs> if, if I'm thinking correctly about the image, maybe it might be about the image, about the exterior and the interior. Mm -hmm. You have a motto. So uh, this is a newfound motto. Okay. I, you know, and I, okay. Because years, as soon as I came out into the community as this whole, Hawaiian or African American Hawaiian falsetto singer, mm -hmm. um, you know, I just, I, I, over the years, I had to learn on how to how to cope with that and 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 be, you know, in in a sense, kind of like put in a box. I'm just a human being, really. Mm -hmm. You know, it doesn't have to be the African American falsetto singer. It's it's, you know, but anyways, it is what it is. But uh, this model that I say, I'm popolo exterior. Mm -hmm. So the popolo is that word for that that we use. It's non derogatory, mm -hmm. but uh, <laughs> popolo exterior and Hawaiian interior. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> I like that. I like That's that. That's my story, and I'm sticking to I like, it. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Now you sing and you play the the ukulele. So yes. that's your instrument of choice. It is. What brought yeah. you to that? Um, well, you know, growing up in, in Hawaiian immersion, um, that is one of the one of the requirements for mm -hmm. us. Probably when I reached the fifth grade, so I was about seven, six or seven. Um, it was one of the uh, requirements that we had we had to do. So um, <clears throat> that was my last year in in elementary. Uh, then I went on to intermediate, and I put it away. I, I never played for those other three years. And then high school came along, and then we have these song contest. Mm -hmm. uh, back then it was called Brown Bags to Stardom, mm -hmm. changed to StarQuest. Um, so I, I found fascination in that and more than I did, you know, <laughs> with my academics. I should have been studying more, but I was singing. And, and um, 
You know, I actually consider myself to be a late bloomer when it comes to the style of falsetto singing. Mm -hmm. um, it, was, it was just one day I was on the school campus, and uh, I just, as simple as this sounds, but I, I just let out a big stretch, and that, that uh, technique that we use, what we call the ha'i, um, or the ha'i ha'i for the men, it's ha'i for women, but the ha'i ha'i, Got in there just as I was stretching, mm -hmm. and I, I just kind of did like a yawn and, and ended up doing imitating that sound of the ha'i ha'i because I heard Hawaiian music and I heard falsetto singers before. Mm -hmm. um, and you know, someone heard me and they're like, Hey, that was that was pretty good, it sounded good, even though I'm like, Okay, I don't know what you're talking about, I'm just stretching <laughs> over here, making a sound. I didn't sing a, a note. Um, and then we took a class trip, and that uh. Uh, that evening, somebody had encouraged me to try and sing a certain song. And uh, so I was like, okay, I'll just go ahead and try it. And, you know, I, I got encouraged, and mm -hmm. the rest became history. And, and, where, <laughs> you are, and where you are today. And here I am. Yeah. Where you are today. And in 2003, you won that falsetto contest. That's right, yes. Uncle Richard Holt, PE, one of Hawaii's. Uh, renowned falsetto singers. Um, it was actually comprised of he and his brother, the Ho'opi'i brothers is what mm -hmm. they were called, for, uh, and singing in that, uh, from Kahakuloa village uh, on the island of Maui. And uh, so they named this con uh, contest after him. And in fact, I actually tried out for O'ahu. Mm -hmm. And uh, at that time, it was known as the Frank D. Shainer falsetto contest, but I didn't know better. I didn't know what to put in. I didn't really, I didn't really know completely what falsetto or what they were looking for, you know? So it's kind of weird. I heard it, and now I can tell you I understand what it is and what I've heard, but back then it was, uh, it, it's okay, these people singing high and they're doing interesting stuff with their voice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I'm gonna try and imitate that, but I ended up submitting a song and I didn't make it for the O'ahu one, and then a year later, Richard Holt P.E.'s Falsetto Contest, and this was 2003, this mm -hmm. was my graduating year, and it was, it was a, a happy one at that. Wow, yeah. wow. Now, you have worked, with collab worked and collaborated with many producers, and like I said, in 2013, mm -hmm. you won your Nahuku Award. Yes. And tell us about that. Yeah, the Hoku Hanohano Award, uh, I mean, it re really puts a stamp on, on all of the hard work and the dedication that, that most of us artists put into, you know, putting ourselves out there, you know, mm -hmm. uh, that's more than just a song. So it's we're putting ourselves out there and expressing to, you know, the highest power. So this first album that I, I put out is titled Vahe Mahalo, which means to give thanks. And I thought that you know, would, would be the perfect song. It, I wrote a song, actually. It's the, what do they call it? It's a song that is titled after the, uh, for the album, or became, okay. you know, the, the title for the album. So I wrote a song first that was called Vahe Mahalo, and then, you know, the more I, I sang it, I realized um, this is actually a perfect, perfect homage to my life and mm -hmm. what I've been raised with, my family, you know, giving thanks to my family, giving thanks to the education that I come from. Um, yeah, I just have to put out something, continue. Yes, <laughs> yes. Now, um, who would you like to collaborate with next? You collaborated with, you've collaborated, like I said, with a lot of producers. Mm -hmm. Anyone in the world, anyone in the world, whether it's Hawaii or wherever. Who would wow. you like? Yeah, I'm putting that's it out a, there. That's a big who question, you, yes. Yeah, you never know. Who would um, you like to collaborate with? Who would I like to collaborate with? I would say um, Justin Timberlake, <laughs> you know, because he's got some falsetto going on. Mm -hmm. um, there's so many out there. If I had the, if I had the privilege of, of working with Stevie Wonder, that would be incredible uh, just to, you know, I, I actually... A lot of uh, music that I listened to outside of Hawaiian music was Stevie, Stevie Wonder, Wonder. music. And yeah. it's funny you say that because all of my guests, when I ask that question, That's is Stevie Wonder. The number one. Yeah, of course. That is the number one person who they want to, you know, work with. Collab with. Yeah, absolutely. Just, just to gain some kind of 
something from you know from him and, and his experience would be a Put blessing. Put it out in the universe. You never yes. know. It may happen. There it went. <laughs> it may happen. <laughs> now I know um, that you 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 teach. Yes. You you teach. I do teach. Mm -hmm. um, and what do you teach the ukulele? You teach singing as well. Um, I well, okay. So I'm not. I didn't go to school for for singing. It really just comes from from deep mm -hmm. passion. So I don't consider myself to be a singing teacher, uh, but I have kind of gave, given some people some pointers as far as the falsetto. You know, you either got it or you don't. Right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> but, but I mean, it's a challenge. It is a challenge. <laughs> and, um, the things that I, I teach is, is just my technique of, of uh, strumming or the style of strumming. Um, another thing would be language. Um, being mm -hmm. a, a graduate of Hawaiian language uh, immersion program, um, you know, we are, we're taught to, to perpetuate, you know. I mean, I think that's be anything in life yeah the things the valuable things that help us become who we are you know it, it was to share where it's there for each other some things are and some things aren't but i think language uh especially living out here in hawaii is mm -hmm. is something that that should be shared um for a better understanding of of who the people of hawaii is who this aina you know the land that we live on um, so I actually am starting classes um, soon, well, in, in October. Okay. Um, it's going to be at Highway Inn. Um, it's a limited seating, so it's, it's the best. I don't know when this is going to be aired, but if it should be aired before October, <laughs> we'll be there. And I'm just continuing to, to share Hawaiian language. Yeah. That is awesome and amazing. <laughs> now, what advice would you give, all right? Because um, you are an artist. Yes. So what advice would you give an artist, musician, especially the newer ones that are coming up today? Oh, some of them make it and some don't. Yes. So what would you say? What would you tell them? My, uh, my humble advice would be to uh, just be, be yourself and, and understand and know who you are and where you come from um, and not to be afraid of uh, of, of being different, mm -hmm. you know, because that was the biggest thing for myself is, is going out there, putting myself out there visually. We live in a, a visual society that they see one thing and don't expect what's going to come out of my mouth. Right. right. <laughs> and, um, you know, I just, it, I just had to continue to, to stay strong in my faith um, and, and my teachings and, and share it with the world. Because there's only one you. Well, we have to take a quick break. So don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Hi, guys. I'm your host, Lillian Kumik from Lillian's Vegan World. And I come to you live every second Friday from 3 p.m. And this is the show where I talk about the plant-based lifestyle and veganism. So we go through recipes, some upcoming events, uh, information about health, regarding your health, and uh, just some ideas on how you can have a better lifestyle, eat healthier, and have fun at the same time. So do join me. I look forward to seeing you, and uh, aloha. Konnichiwa. Think Tech Hawaii ga nihongo de ookuri shiteimasu. Konnichiwa Hawaii. Host no Kunisei Yukari desu. Maishu, kakushu getsuyobi, 2ji kara desu ne, nihongo de, nihongo de katsuyaku sarete irashitaru Hawaii no iroiro na kata o omaneki shite, Aloha and welcome back to the Hawaii Smooth Jazz Connection. As I said earlier, I'm view, view, veering off of my smooth jazz today and we are talking about Hawaiian music. And we have my guest, Mr. Kamake Hao. Hernandez, and I'm going to have him play us something right now. How about that? Sure. You would? Love to. Not at all. Okay. Uh, here we go. So. Oh. 
Ali, Ali, Amaine. Aloha, e mina. Moloka, inoe, a ina. Thank you. Himele oh no my gosh. Did you hear that? <laughs> oh my gosh. Thank you so much. Such a beautiful voice. I, uh, it's an original song, actually. I wrote that for my first visit to Molokai. And uh, we went there for a particular purpose. Uh, in this particular time of the year, uh, we celebrate Makahiki. Makahiki mm -hmm. um, is, has to do with the lunar phases and, and the stars and how they align. Um, but it is a time of, of rest and fellowship for the Hawaiian people. And so what they would do is they, they utilize this time to learn uh, and they, they practice uh, Hawaiian games. So they have things like ulumaika, which is uh, there's a, a stone, a round stone, that they go ahead and they, 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 they compete against each other, just mm -hmm. to make that a little quicker. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> but basically, um, we were there, my, my classmates and I, uh, and we had the privilege of visiting Halaba Valley, which is on the east side mm -hmm. of, of the island of Molokai. Uh, and there's a beautiful waterfall there. And Palau is a scenic lookout point to a peninsula known as Kalaupapa. And uh, in Kalaupapa, is, there's many people who have Hansen's disease or leprosy, they were all mm -hmm. kind of abandoned out to that part of the island. But it's, it's a beautiful, beautiful place and it was beautiful memory. So the song was born. That's a beautiful song. <laughs> Thank you. Beautiful. And, and from such an amazing, uh, amazing voice. I need to start following you more now. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Don't Thank let you. my man stalker come no, talk. No, it's okay. Because <laughs> I just love the Hawaiian culture and I love Hawaiian music as well. I love smooth jazz. I love all music. But I, love, I do love the Hawaiian culture. Now, before we went to break, I did ask you a question about what would you tell an up-and-coming artist yes. okay, coming into this industry, right? Yes. Now, um, as you know, as they, they have music right now in some schools. They have music and the arts in the schools, but they are taking it out gradually but slowly, which I think is the wrong thing to do. Mm -hmm. But I want to know what your thought is on that. Um, my, my opinion <laughs> would be, you know, it's, it, it is very interesting. I mean, and, and I had, uh, you know, in a previous conversation we had, I, mm -hmm. I uh, had you brought up the fact that it's interesting to me that music is the first thing that they want to be rid of. And yes. it's like I've played in the hotels for mm -hmm many uh, years and mm -hmm. they still have music there but um, it would be the first to go mm -hmm. you know if if be it finances mm -hmm. something um, as far as the schools are concerned um, the first thing that comes to my mind is you know is that you know some people view it as being a distraction or disruptive or learning academics you know the academics mm -hmm. that you know the more 
you know, important things and that society has, has, you know, told us that we need to, we need to do. It's either you need, you need to be a doctor or you need to be a, a fireman mm -hmm. or, you know, but musician wasn't, you know, being up a musician there. or singing, a singer wasn't up there. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, it's, I, I wish I had the answer to, to why they decide to pull out music, but I mean, I just think it's, it's crazy. <laughs> what do you think we can do, if anything, to try and keep it in our schools? Um, well, actually, there, there are many uh, great um, programs that are happening here in Hawaii, especially mm -hmm. something that I've worked with. It's called Mana Maoli. Mm. Uh, and this uh, particular uh, group uh, has collected, brought together all different uh, artists of Hawaii. And uh, we collaborate with, with some of the charter schools, especially. They're starting with the charter schools. And they are also. Um, they've built a mobile studio. Oh, wow. Yeah, so it will be, it can be stationed at the schools. Um, and uh, in fact, we just uh, did a, a big um, shout out for, for people uh, on the Mauna and those who support uh, what's going on with, uh, with Mauna Kea. They had a big jam session for uh, around the world. It, was, it went live. Wow. It went live and viral and it's you know, it's it's taking, uh, it's, you know, the wave is rising. And I think something is already being done, especially from Hawaii. And because of all of this commotion that's happening in Hawaii, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think it is bringing a lot of attention. So now is the time if you, you know, if people feel that they, they or they have a platform perhaps, and they want to make a difference, then step in, you know, step in yes. and, and, you know, it starts, it starts with us. Yes. It does. Yeah. It, it, it really, it really does. Um, if people want to hear more of your music, okay, and to find out more about you, where can they go? Do you have a website? Where can they go to find out more about you? I do. Uh, I do have a website. Uh, my website is .com. Mm -hmm. Uh And, uh, of course, I'm a part of all the social media stuff, so uh, KKF underscore music would okay. be my Instagram. Um, my Facebook is a little full, but you can, <laughs> you can like and follow me at Kamaki Kehel Fernandez. Um, and then through my website, actually, um, I'm usually posting my whereabouts of performing, usually um, at Nikos. We have two locations. Okay. So one is in Kailua, and the other would be um, there in, uh, at Pier 38. Pier 38, yes. Yeah. So you hear that. If you want to find out more about my guest, I'm going to get this right before we leave here. I'm a yeah. kao. I'm a kao. So, there you go. That's I'm the way. I'm a kao. I got to yeah. say it slowly. You go, um, go to his website, go to Instagram, go to Facebook. And I know we all know how to find out people on Facebook and all these places yes. <laughs> if yes. we really want to find out about, <laughs> find out about them. <laughs> now, I know that um, you do have performances all around. What's coming up next? What projects are you working on now? Oh, yeah. There's, there are many projects besides um, this launch of Hawaiian language. It's, gonna, it's a seven-week uh, seven course of mm -hmm. Hawaiian language that's happening at Highway Inn in October. Um, besides that, I'm currently in studios working on some new music. Um, it's always, we got to do, we got to keep it going, keep it gotta going. keep it going. Uh, also traveling, I'm over there uh, heading to Japan uh, nice. very soon. Um, and uh, as well as, um, I, I'm, I'm started with writing a children's book. Oh, nice. And it's going to have to do a lot with <coughs> um, the meaning of hanai. Okay. Or the Hawaiian word of hanai means adoption. Adoption. Um, yeah, and, and with that being said, I want to, you know, give a shout out to my family, uh, <coughs> sending my love, because if it was not for, uh, for these wonderful human beings raising me and teaching me all that I know, I wouldn't be doing what I'm, what I'm doing today. I know exactly what you're saying. <coughs> Excuse me, because um, when we spoke about this, I'm adopted as well. So yes. it'd be nice to talk to you more. Yeah, absolutely. About that. Absolutely. Most definitely. But I want to thank you so much, excuse thank me, for you. being here on the show with me, for veering me off track, because sometimes we need that, <laughs> and to learn about 
wonderful people like yourself with that amazing voice. Thank you. People, please go check Mr. Kama Kakehau. Yes. Fernandez <laughs> out because I will definitely be around checking him out. Check him out on the website, like I said, Facebook, Instagram. Check him out. I also wanted to thank you. Thank you for providing this platform and all of the behind the scenes for uh, oh, you know, no problem. the hands for this program. Thank you so much. I'm just so glad that you could be here. Wow. I am just so glad you could be here because for me, everything is a learning experience Absolutely. as well. Absolutely. I'm always learning, constantly learning about something. And when I found out about you and learned about you, it's like, ooh. Yeah. And not being afraid to dive in. Yes. I know. At first I was, but you know, hey. Yeah. <laughs> Just give them. <laughs> you know, we do that. <laughs> but thank you all for watching me here on the Hawaii Smooth Jazz Connection. And again, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. You're welcome. I'm a kake how? Mahalo, yes. <laughs> That's how you do it. Sound it out. Sound it out. <laughs> Thank you for joining me here on this show. Until next week, everyone, or until two weeks, I should say, aloha and God bless. <laughs>